The Israeli military says a missile attack from Iran is now over. Residents who were ordered to take shelter just over an hour ago are being told they can now leave. This is the sky over Tel Aviv as the attack began just before 8 p.m. local time. Iran said it launched dozens of missiles at Israel in retaliation for Israel's assassination of the leader of Hezbollah over the weekend. A spokesperson for Israel's military said Iran's attack will have serious consequences. CBC News senior correspondent Sasha Petrasek joins us now from Jerusalem. Sasha, tell us about where you are right now, because the last time we checked in with you was on the phone and you were in a safe spot. It looks like you're outside now. That's right, Jacqueline. I am outside. Uh, we have received the all clear. I'm in the center of Jerusalem right here. And uh, the lights that you see behind me, those are all suburbs of, uh, of Jerusalem. The outskirts, uh, the center is over here. The, uh, the old city is to my left. Uh, you can see most of it here. And in the distance, you can also see uh, the Dead Sea. So we had a pretty good... Uh, um, uh, vantage point uh, when we did at the beginning of all of this, when when the, uh, the the when we could see the streaks of light in the sky as these missiles started coming in, but before the actual air raid sirens went off, that system is quite sophisticated and it uh, seems to know where they're likely to be aimed and where debris is likely to fall when the Israeli system intercepts them. Um, we could see them going across the sky probably in, 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 in clusters of about half a dozen of orange streaks, and then they would be intercepted. There would be a, a ground-shaking sort of boom, uh, and then things would go black and normal. And then a few minutes later, we'd come across the same sort of thing all over again. Um, so it, it, it really was a... Uh, 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 I guess an attack that kept coming and coming and coming, uh, lasting probably the better part of an hour now. What's your understanding, Sasha, in terms of how many of these missiles made contact? Um, you know, we, we know that the system that's in place in Israel can intercept missiles like these and did in, in this moment. Have you heard about any instances where uh, a missile wasn't intercepted? I haven't heard of any uh, instances where uh, missiles were were not intercepted and that they landed somewhere, that they hit some sort of a mark. Um, however, I have heard of a few instances where once the, uh, the interception happens up in the air, then it's very difficult to know where the debris is going to fall. And sometimes the debris is quite large, especially from these long range missiles. So we have heard that some of this debris has fallen in different places in Israel. In one case, there was a Palestinian man that was injured when uh, part of that debris fell in the West Bank. Um, there have been a few other instances so far, that is all I am hearing. I'm not hearing that any of the 180 or so missiles, that's what the, uh, the IDF, the Israeli military is saying, came in or was launched from Iran. Um, I'm not hearing that any of those 180 missiles hit their target or hit any part of, uh, of, of Israel um, full force.